I saw the breakdown for the show in my email and I was like, lesbian vampire? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, I just think the opportunity to play a character who's lived for 300 years is something you don't get to do very often. Um, and it's just such a gift as an actor to have that. So it's so much history. And I like that the, the cast and the script is really female forward. And uh, yeah, I just like that it was a really innovative take on vampire stories. I liked that it wasn't a girl torn between two male loves and that the badass is the vampire, like is the female yeah. Um When I read it for the first time, I was just laughing to myself in my bedroom at like 12 at night being like, this is so funny. Um, and like as I was reading it, I was actually like, and like I could like picture in my head like what was going on. Um, and so I, I was like immediately like drawn into the world of it and um, I was excited to like watch it. And so it's something that I would totally watch on like a Friday night. That's what I do on a Friday night. Um, yeah, so. I was uh, I was drawn to it because it was um, it's hilarious. It's so funny. It's I do okay. I take her. Take her. How would I How would I do with Carmilla as my roommate? Um, I put her in her place. <laughs> Amazing. Um, if Carmilla moved in with me right now. I'd probably have to like soundproof my bedroom because I really like sleep and I really like going to bed relatively early and um, she's a vampire so she'd be up all night and yeah I'd put like egg cartons yeah. all over my walls so that you get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I feel like Carmilla and I might hang out. We might drink some grape soda together. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> ever had a poster up in my bedroom. That is a lie. Orlando Bloom. But that was in high school. <laughs> like Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I don't, I don't do so, okay, if I was starting university, what is the first poster that I would put in my room? I have two in my room right now, but I framed them because I'm a grown-up now. I was like, I'm a grown-up. I'm going to frame these posters. You know, I'm just what are they? stuffing it up a notch. I have an Annie Hall, an Annie Hall poster. Nice. Um, and then, a, this is very Carmilla actually, a poster of the skeletal system. Oh! It's like three skeletons, yeah. That's kind of cool. And you're like Miss Frizzle, you have like a giant skeleton in your closet. No? There are some skeletons in my closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are a few. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with all of them. Oh! <laughs> When I first moved to uh, university or theater school, um, I had like, I was so, so, I was so, so bad at cooking, so I would just make like peanut butter sandwiches all the time. And then I started becoming way more gourmet, and now I love cooking. Um, but my like go to food still consistently is cutting up an apple and eating it. I probably go through a jar of peanut butter every week. And I'm not exaggerating, it's really, really good. My go to starving student meal. I have a few. Uh, Nutella straight from the jar. It's my comfort yeah. food. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one time I made a sandwich just of dips, like it was just like hummus and tzatziki. <laughs> so gross. And like tapenade, just like in yeah. a sandwich. It's kind of nice, but it was just like a dip sandwich. Um, that's when you haven't had time to go grocery shopping for a No, long yeah, and I was really addicted to chocolate milk in my first year of university. It could be a Friday night and I would go to the corner store and they'd be like, oh, another wild night. And I was like, yeah, it's gonna buy two liters of chocolate milk. <laughs> go back to my apartment now and drink these. Um, have I ever had an experience with the paranormal? Um, I have not, but I'm still pretty convinced that Harry Potter's real. 
I played a lot of imaginary games when I was a child, and let, I can just feel you judging me right now. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? Here's a secret, and it's a secret that everyone knows. I well, totally, when I was 11, I totally thought I was going to get my letter to Hogwarts. And yes! Was, and I was so mad when I didn't. Yeah. My 11th birthday was the worst thing in the world. Because well, we're the same age, so we were always the same age as Harry Potter, like uh, when every exactly. book came out. Yeah, it's a special time. And so my 11th birthday came and went, and my view of the world changed forever. But not really, because I'm still secretly... I think that Harry Potter is real. I don't... Planes are not real things. It has to be magic. And computers. <laughs> oh, think about it. It doesn't make sense that science is a thing. I think it's only magic. <laughs> this is magic. This interview. <laughs>